I am J-Dog John Karspoom, and I'm out here with Sting, of all people. We've got him back! At least for a short while, right, Sting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. You stick around? Mm hmm? You want to stick around? For a little uh, bit. For a little mm -hmm. bit, okay. Uh, let's say hello to Tim Haddock and Deanne Dordery, uh, what our newest fans on Facebook, guys. Hello, enjoy the show. Hey, uh, now we're going into the fall, of course, as you know, because the rain's coming down and we are changing out our passion baskets, our types of baskets to the passion basket fall version. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna try and give you some tips uh, some ideas on maybe how to line a basket. Now I've got this weird, strange, just odd looking container here. No matter what size of container you have, I'm just showing one particular. Now I've got it in wrought iron and the big thing during the winter time is that there's not a whole lot of trailing. Our passion baskets, as you know, we have them in the black plastic We've got lots of trailers to hide that, but during but during the fall winter months, we have a lot of upright stuff. None of that, well, very few options as far as hanging dangly stuff. So what we're gonna do is, uh, what we wanna do is create this to make it look nice through the winter time so that if you see the container, you know, it looks good. Here's some options. Let me give you three options. One is, one that we particularly like is the moss cloth. I don't know if Sting, you can get that in there. This is a moss cloth that we get right made, made here and well made in St. Paul, Oregon of all places. What they do is they have this netting, uh, netting where they can glue on this type of moss, keeps its color, doesn't last forever. As a matter of fact, if you get one full year out of it, you're doing good. Neat thing about this, one thing particularly that we like is, let me show you right over here, is that we can cut it into all kinds of shapes and designs here. So here we've got it striped like this. Over here, Sting, this is what you've been working on, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got it, um, um, what do I say, um, <laughs> circular around there. Um, so you can do all kinds of shapes and sizes on that. Makes it, it, it's easy to work with, very easy to cut. It's like cutting cloth on that. So moss cloth is one option for you. Another option, it's probably the least expensive option, is to do a type of ground cover. Now I've got this ground cover from DeWitt Fabrics. Uh, they really do a good job. Uh, this one has a brown site and a black site. It is tough too, and it feels like cloth, lines out baskets very, very easily like that. So, so it gives you just a straight black look on there. So nothing great, but nothing bad either. So uh, that's another option. Final option I want to show you are burlap, just straight burlap. You can buy these in sheets, and of course, uh, now sometimes what we do is we'll take this, line our container, and then go back and line it with a with a ground cloth. That way we really keep in the soil and keep in the mess. So anyway, that's the idea. It's just some options. Oh, by the way, we do use little zip ties, little electric zip ties to tie that in there. Can you see that okay? Anyway, <laughs> that's what we do. Just some ideas on how to line your basket for this upcoming season. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. That's what we're all about. Always live your passion. You see me right out of the sunset on the color TV screen.